Hello, my name is Oscar. I'm leading the solution engineer team over at Superannotate. And today I'm going to give you a short introduction of the Superannotate platform. So to give an introduction, what is Superannotate? Well, Superannotate is an end-to-end -end platform to create, manage, version, and debug top quality training data, or as we like to call it, super data. Where I want to start on our platform is on the highest level, which is the team section. Here is where you can gather your collaborator, whether they are ML engineers or annotators to uh, work together on your data set, both for annotation, curation, and version. So here you can invite everyone you like to work with and create multiple different projects. In Superannotate, you can get, create multiple projects for your data. A project is made up by the data, the classes or ontology, and the users who will be collaborating on that data set. And they can be of different types. Uh, at Superannotate, the project type that you choose will decide how you visualize the data, whether they are images, videos, or text. So this is what we have here, a image project. And within every project, you do have the three pillars that I mentioned, the data sets, that, or the data itself, and that can be divided into folders. And you do have this setup as well. And that includes the actual class structure that you might have together with your contributors. So here is where you'll invite people who will be doing collaboration like annotators, QAs, and project admins to assign role access for this specific data set. When you've labeled the data, you can analyze it in the analytics screen to get an overview of what your data set looks like in terms of how things are progressing, how many items there are, and how much time people spend labeling it. But you can also dive deeper using our explore feature which lets you query and search your data set. For example, find all of the images, including the instance coffee. I filtered those out on an image level or on an instance level. That's all for me. If you would like to learn more, you can always look out in our resource center. We have a lot of documentation. You can look into how our SDK works or reach out to any of us at Super Annotate. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something.